Hey Magic Me on YouTube, T1 Glistener Elf here. I just ended the season, and that, uh, since I was in Platinum 2, that kicked me down to Gold 3. So, Gold 2 or 3, it won't take me too terribly long to get back to it, just get back to Platinum playing through Ranked. So, I figured I'd show that off. Uh, the deck that I'm using is a modified version of the Lurus Aurus deck that I was using for this 15 win speedruns. This is what it looks like. So, pretty much the same thing as, as that, except instead of having 4 Aether Tunnel, it's 1 and 3 Staggering Insight. Because otherwise, the only source of life, link, life gain that we have is all Seed of Life's Bounty. And that opens us up to losing to aggro a bit more easily. Excuse me. So the creatures are, again, 4 All Seed, 4 Selfless Savior, a 4 Spirit Dancer, 4 Srom. So our 1 drops protect our 2 drops, and our 2 drops snowball and win us the game. At least that's how it's supposed to go. And then, of course, we have the 3 Staggering Insight and 4 Curious Obsession to make sure that we don't run out of cards. That's the hope, anyway. So pretty easy deck, not too terribly hard to wrap our minds around. And other than that, it's just a bunch of auras. So let's jump in, see how long this takes. Alright. Didn't actually make any coffee for this one, but made some tea instead. That should work. True raw. True raw. Okay. Uh, so no creature. We have to mull. Three creatures. Yes. The one we get rid of here is the Staggering Insight. Uh, so, Hallowed Fountain, Selfless Savior. Selfless Savior goes first because we can play Spirit Dancer on turn two and still be able to protect it. Oh! Hey, same thing. Spirit Dancer time. Uh, it doesn't really matter. We'll see if they'll make the... Nope. Okay. Alright. Now, depending on what we draw here, we'll either play the Cartouche or play Spirit Dancer. If we get a land, we'll play Spirit Dancer, then Cartouche of Solidarity. Hushbringer. Okay. That used to be in this deck. And then I ended up spending the wild cards. I mean, might as well, right? Sorry. Okay. Yeah, we got a land, so we'll go... Here, another Spirit Dancer, and then make a big, chunky Spirit Dancer, draw a couple cards, and reload. <laughs> right, just you. Now, they have a source of lifelink, and we don't, so it's not, it's not over yet, for sure. Once they start putting auras on Hushbringer, they could actually keep themselves in the game, just with that lifelink. Okay. Ah, alright. So we actually need to put something else on Core Spirit Dancer to be able to get past that. Ow. Right, off to my turn. Oh, conveniently, we have something. Alright. Put you down as well. All right. Let's see. How do you want to do this? Ow. They don't realize it, but that just co that cost them the game right there because we have Ether Tunnel in hand. That one single Ether Tunnel. Well, I don't know. We'll see. If they find all that glitters. So four, they go to eleven. We're still fine because we actually have eleven just from Ether Tunnel. It's plus one, and then Core Spirit Dancer. All right, all right, hit me. All right, good game. All right, here we go. Pop. 
see if they see it. And my quest is just play 25 lands. So I guess let's get this out of the way. So we already have lethal. We don't have to play on. Uh, but... Let's see. And they're tapped out too, so... Yeah, let's just swing in. Yep, there we go. Got there. Got there. I'm expecting this to mostly just go the same way for all of this. Right. We have a few packs. We'll open after the next win. We'll open some packs. We, we have quite a few to get through. I think I have... Let's see, I just got my renew uh, season-ending rewards, the Battle for Zendikar packs. Uh, three, I believe, from that. And then plus the ones I already had. The daily deal today was a Kaladesh remastered pack for 600 gold. And unless it's a daily deal, I'm not going to be investing in that anymore, I'm afraid. Unfortunately. Apex Predator. Good to see you again. Karn is indeed the Apex Predator, right? Okay. Uh, sure. We're on the draw, and Sram is our only creature, so... But it's... I see Lurus on the other side. Okay. Pyromancer deck, right? Uh, play that one. Oh boy. Oh boy. In that case, do I want to play Sram yet? And I think that the answer is probably no. I want to hold up Sram. Though they could have Thoughtseize. Pyromancer first. Alright. Uh, Srom is dead if I play him here. I, I feel it. We can't afford that. So we'll just play a Plains and pass. Not even revealing my other color. Alright, don't thought these. Arcanist, okay. This will work out. Srom. There we go. And they don't have a one mana instant. Good. Good, good, good. So even if they kill Strom now, we still get our 1-1 one, one Vigilant creature. And Strom's dead. Okay. Well, that happens. Oh, they're gonna, uh, if they can pump, they can kill it with a Braid. If they can pump the Arcanist. Another one. Jeez. Okay. Alright. Hmm. We can give it flying, lifelink, draw a card. It already is vigilant. Ooh, not that one. This one. This is the one. Hiya. Gain a little bit of life. Draw another land, as you do. At least Staggering Insight will give me yet another card, if this thing gets to live. Big if. We haven't found another creature yet, so we're relying on Lurus if this dies. Uh-oh. Like, clearly there's a reason for this. No blocks. Alright. Or not, there wasn't a reason, as it turns out. Just dump everything onto it. Draw a bunch of cards. Yo. Yes. Um. Just so I don't have to shock myself here. Alright, and pass the turn. Now we should be in great shape. Should be. We'll see. Village rights, okay. I'm not sure why they didn't sack the token. The token would replace itself. And they'd still have the Pyromancer. Hmm. 
clan- Ah! Still, that is the only creature in the yard though, right? I guess that's fair. Fame. Oh, okay. Interesting. So now they can abrade something. Or use another village rights. Alright. So, what you got? Uh, village rights, okay. Village rights on the small one, and then a braid on the big one. So, sack the one that can't attack, that isn't. Oh! That's weird. Okay. That's weird. Uh, yeah, a braid targeting all seed. Yeah. As you do. Uh, sure. Uh, just in case. Better safe than sorry. We have lifelink anyway. We don't need to block. Alright. So let's go. All that glitters. They're tapped out, so they're dead. Uh, cancel. Ah, I should have played a land first for the quest. That's fine. That's why I was trying to cancel. Had they had thought sees though, being a, a little reluctant to play Sram there would have gotten me punished. Alright, so Kaladesh Remastered first. We'll open Throne in a bit. Wildest Dreams again. So all of these are first. All the commons and uncommons. But a rare I have a double of already. <laughs> Go figure. Alright, we'll jump back in. See, this isn't taking too terribly long. As long as I can keep this record up, we're in great shape. There we go. Verilyn, I don't remember having played against you before. Hi, Teferi. Oh, hello. Okay, this looks good. Tell him hello as well. Hi there. Okay. Sometimes you can play Srom before Spirit Dancer just because you want to use it for bait. Um, but since we have double Spirit, Man Spirit Dancer, let's go that way. Aha, okay. Uh, you're a little slow, a little light. A little bit behind. Hmm. We are going to lose Spirit Dancer this coming turn, I believe. Hmm. Or do I do Srom anyway? Nope, we'll do Spirit Dancer. It's fine. It's fine. It'll work out. Maybe. Crossing Fingers, Hidden Dragon. Okay, Woe Strider. Pyromancer, okay. Pyromancer, token, claim the first... Oh, great. Yep, yep, there we go. Selfless Savior couldn't have saved him anyway. Oh, <laughs> take zero. Nice. I like how the sound effect for that is actually different, too. When you take zero. Alright, and then sack the token and the yeah, Spirit Dancer. As you do, I guess. Alright, well, take two. Now I actually might want to play the Spirit Dancer. Or play the Srom. Hmm. We'll try it again. Don't have another claim, please. Pretty, please. Even a removal spell will actually, uh, take out the Spirit Dancer, though. Yeah, I should have done Srom. Oh, well. Oops. Alright. At least we still have Srom. Ah, okay. Rip Marino, and then poke me for two. 
Nope, Archon is first. Adlerus. Hey. This one isn't going too well. Not too terribly well. Alright. Ah, oh, we're actually dead. When they use a, when they attack with Arcanist, they'll be able to claim the Firstborn for free. So I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have even played Thrawn there. Not yet. Not until I had enough mana to at least get something. I should have added Lurus to hand this turn. Yeah, we're dead. All right, I'm going to call it. I'm going to try to get through this as quickly as possible. We're only 15 minutes in. <laughs> there we go. And we don't even have that far to get. If I hurry through, we can do this whole thing in less than an hour. If I hurry through. It's a fast deck. It wins pretty often. This is gold tier, uh, where decks don't tend to be as optimal. So we might be able to. Alright. And that one ether tunnel is showing up a decent bit. Billaros. Hey, Bill. Uh, sure, we can play it off of a selfless, selfless savior. There we go. See if they're good. Alright. Hello. Alright, don't kill this thing. Please. Please don't kill this thing. Okay, so, hey, same deck. I think I see a, a trend here, a theme here. Alright, in that case, we'll go Curious Obsession. Um, uh, probably want to do Sentinel's Eyes instead. Well, just in case. Just on the off chance. Alright. They won't block? They will block. Okay, that's interesting. It works out. Uh, we'll have Cartouche of Knowledge for next turn, and they have a Spirit Dancer. Of course. Okay. In that case... In that case, we're in trouble. Alright, let's see if we can manage to get there. Stack as many effects on this thing as possible. Alright. Draw a CAD. See what we get. A cartoon. Okay, cool. Too slow, but... It's cool, at least. We can't compete with that Spirit Dancer. Oh, they're pulling a trick out of my hat. Hey, let that resolve all. There we go. That's more like it. Yeesh. Okay. Well, we can let... We can't... They can't attack yet. That's right. Hmm. Okay. Do this just to draw a card. What do we get? Another obsession. Um, sure. Firstest strike, I suppose. All right, get another card out of it. They're pretty close. We have lethal next turn unless they can draw some lifelink stuff. On to damage and play out a blocker. <laughs> that's that's what that is. That's just a blocker. All right. Let's see. Are we dead? With that much mana, double all that glitters. Okay. Ooh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. These colors don't normally grant flying, though. I mean, we've got blue for that, but... Oh, never mind, they have lifelink now. That's a problem. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, folks. And they're stacking them all on the same one. Uh -oh. That's a problem. Yeah, we can't keep up with that. Aha! We don't have to. I mean, we do, but, you know. You know. Hmm. I guess we'll put it on the Selfless Savior anyway. 
Aha, okay. Two can play at that game, right? get another card. We get two cards. Um, off to damage. And then we'll play a spirit, put it on the spirit dancer here. Try to get a little bit bigger. Play another all seed in case we get uh, all the glitters. And then pass the turn. Alright, with Sagaring Insight, we might make it. Maybe. Maybe. Oh boy, now it flies. Okay. How much trouble are we in? Are we going to have to block with Selfless Savior? We, we just might. If we do, we can sack the Selfless Savior because it doesn't have Trample and avoid them gaining any life. Curious Obsession again. Okay. Well... And it does have, uh, Vigilance, I believe. Yep. First Strike, Vigilance, Lifelink, Flying. Okay. We need to draw, like, Maniacs here. Now all the Glitters won't be as effective because Selfless Sager will be gone. The uh, Enchantment Count will be 4 counting itself. All the Glitters Staggering Insight wouldn't be too bad, though. Actually, no, it would, because that wouldn't get us big enough to get over the Spirit Dancer. This is quite the stack. Hmm. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We need a run of spells to get us out of this. Oh, come on! <laughs> would you stop with that? <laughs> Please? <laughs> Alright. Why not? Alright. So, oh, jeez. Pass to blockers first. Obvious block is obvious. Sack, give indestructible to you. And no damage dealt. Alright. Cartouche of Knowledge would save me for a little while. A turn. Exactly a turn. It's interesting that they went all in on one creature like that, but I guess it works out for them. Now if I play Thrum first here, then I can get some more card draw, but I need to actually find something now. Thrum wouldn't give me... let's see... No, I think we just kind of have to rely on Spirit Dancer, don't we? Spirit Dancer Cartouche. Nope, nope. Alright. Maybe this is wrong, but I'm playing Strom first. Alright. Put this here. One, two. Get the duplicates out. Alright. Even Ether Tunnel wouldn't save us here. Because now we don't have enough mana. Yeah. <sighs> yep, they got me. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. It happens. You live by the Aura's deck, you die by the Aura's deck. Right. What can you do? Alright, Curio. Who I, I know I've seen this name before, at least. Let's see. Okay. Selfless Savior and the Spirit Dancer. Seems like a plan. Leyline of Sanctity. Is this the uh, Solemnity deck? 
Maybe it's some weird enchantment deck I haven't seen before. Alright. About to say, could you have a counterspell for me? Alright. Yeah. Let's go. See if we can get this thing to live. Alright. Gideon. Oh, it's... Okay. Huh. Prevent... Yeah. Prevent damage it would deal. That's okay. To my turn. So you're at four, right? Well, we can go... One, two... Three. Yeah, we can kill it this turn. We'll still get to draw a bunch of cards. Alright. Bye, Gideon. No emblem for you, no, uh... No abusing the emblem for you. At least that's the hope. That's the game plan. Alright. But, they'll actually make me use up cards if they have a Wrath here. Wrath of God, Selfless Savior on Spirit Dancer. They'll actually make me effectively waste the auras that are already out. Though they have drawn me cards, otherwise. Blast Zone. Alright. Yeah, off to my turn then. Let's take it. Could die to settle the wreckage here, though. Die, quote-unquote. Alright, we'll play a Cartouche first. So that we get a creature out in case settle happens. Hmm. And I guess we'll do it again, just in case. Alright, staggering insight again. Okay. Should take it as a hint, maybe. Alright. Here goes. Alright. Fair enough. Fair enough. Alright. Still get to draw a CAD. Works out. It opens up the Sentinel's eyes, and as it turns out, I'll see. Wrath of ah, There we go. There we go. You got me. You got me there. Let's go, uh, Cartouche. Hmm. Instead of pumping it up, I'm going to add Luris to hand. At least instead of pumping it up for now. Luris to get out Selfless Savior in all likelihood. Ah, CMC 3 or greater? Uh, well that's exactly negative nothing. Okay. So if I want to get my auras out, I need to do them this turn because they're about to get more expensive. Creature or Planeswalker? Jeez, I, I wonder, Gideon. What could it be, Gideon? Alright. We'll go... Srom? Since we know we're playing that out regardless. Hey, we got there. Okay. We just get to go out of control. Just spiral the game out of control from there. Alright. Well, I have a sneaking suspicion it won't be an hour then. Won't end up being... Since we're already at 30 minute mark and we're still in gold 3. Ah, oh, well. I gave myself a bit too much credit on how, how many wins I would get quickly. I mean, we're not doing too slowly, just not as quickly as I had been hoping. Are we already out of tea? Oh, good grief. Hi, 69. Oh, boy. It's it's slow, but we'll make do. That one Castle Arden Vale. Sometimes this happens. That's why for speedruns I actually replace it um, with a regular planes, a basic planes. But then for speedruns, you don't expect to get to that much mana anyway.
Uh, we'll do double selfless savior. And then pass. Oh boy. Huh. Alright. Three or more creatures. That's fine. We can live with that. I can live with that. Oh, high spirit dancer. That works out really well. A even better, a vigilant flying creature coming up. Uh let's make it tempting. They're not going to. They are, okay. This must be really low curve if they're giving up mana ramp already. Or they have a land and their curve ends at three. I guess. I guess it's possible. Alright, what you got? What you got? Ooh. Cartouche of Knowledge next. Hey, there we go. See, that's more like what I was anticipating this whole this whole ordeal would be like. Alright. Gold two. Uh, the record so far is uh, we've won four out of six games. But we can keep that up. We're all right. I guess I'll open the other uh, non-Rise of Zendikar pack. Zendikar Rise of Rise of Zendikar. Rise of the Eldrazi and Zendikar Rising. Another Castle Ardenvale. Okay. Well, I have two. Well, now I have three. So I have a couple decks that might be able to go in. All right. Not this one, though. This one's good at one. All right. Let's keep it going. If I were mono white, I'd add more. Okay, hi Jurassic. Let's see. Opponent goes for yep, so two creatures. Granted the two weakest creatures. Ooh, I'm tired. I'm sleepy. That's what I get for having decaf, I guess. I mean, why even bother having tea if it's going to be decaf, right? Let's say I'll seek first. Alright. Spirit Dancer. Vanguard, okay. Huh. We can make this work. We can make this work. Alright. Oh, that glitters is gold. So, we will, you know, game, we'll drain three. They'll hit me for three. Actually, it'll be more. But, base three. One plus its ability. But since we have lifelink, we will win this race. Ooh, that's good, though. I'd like to find another land that's not Temple of Enlightenment, then. So I can go Sentinel's Eyes and... I saw, ooh. They must have just drawn the Srom. Okay. So this lets me go. Sentinel's Eyes. Make it a 5 5 Vigilant Lifelink. Ooh. Didn't play them in the proper order. Alright. Flip. Okay. We're doing all right by ourselves. They'll have to attack where they lose the Curious Obsession. Though, with Strom out, watch them get to spam onto the Vanguard anyway. It's base 4-2. Was that knowledge? All right. Five power. I don't have first strike. Anything more? That used up two. All right, they're back to two. All right, six. One more. Ooh. Okay, they went to combat. I wonder if they happen to have Karmich's Blessing. They have to attack so... Yep, yeah, there they go. There they go. I didn't think so. I haven't seen that in the store. And I'm not running it myself for a reason, but... You know. <laughs> it could have happened. Alright. Hmm. Okay. 
Let's keep this up. We're only 35 minutes in. Well, now that the, the warm tea is gone, it is cold in here and I can feel it. Spoochie. Okay, we will keep... <laughs> this looks familiar. Double Spirit Dancer Strom. This looks familiar. I may have seen this before. Well, no lures on the other side. Tell them hello. Speaker. Angels. Life, or be Soul Sisters, I guess. Okay. We're not too worried about removal from them, then. We just want to go way bigger than them. Hi, Dexas. Uh, sure. No reason for them not to, after all. Okay. Hmm. And make it big. There we go. Off to a great start. All right, off to an excellent start here. Get them as far away from 27 life as we can. There's a pride mate. Great. Great. Okay. We can play Sram here. And then play... What do we want to play next? Hmm. We can do Cartouche of Knowledge. I'd like to start off with you, actually. Draw all the cards. This knowledge is going to come in handy in just a sec. Alright. Let's put it on here for right now. Oh, another speed. Yep, there we go. Spam, 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 spam it is spam, wonderful spam. Well, let's see. We've got eggs and bacon, and sausage and bacon, egg and spam, egg, bacon and spam, egg, bacon, sausage and spam, spam, egg, spam, bacon, sausage and spam, 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 baked beans, spam, spam, spam. Or lobster thumb no crevettes or the more rice sauce, truffle pet day, fried egg on top, and spam. I know that's not exactly how it goes, but you get the idea. Have you got anything that doesn't have spam in it? I can't do I can't differentiate the voices apparently. Between the uh the chef and the customer. Ooh, energy! Oh, I have not missed you. Alright. In before turn four Ulamog. Oh boy. Marvel into Ulamog. Alright. Hmm. You first. Hi, Strom. Hmm. They're going to block with Rogue Refiner. Uh, do I play that or Strom? I guess I'll play Staggering Insight. Okay. No, no block. We get the extra card. That works. Works for me. S sorry. Alright. Do you have it? Do you have it? No, not yet. If they did, they would. Deck thinning, though. Deck thinning and even more energy. Plus, they have enough mana to pop the Puzzle Knot. Let's see. Can we kill them this turn if we go Cartouche, 9, All That Glitters, 
One, two, three, four, five, six, nine, almost. It, oh, let's go for it. Let's do it. Get that extra card draw in. Yeah. Curse you, puzzle knot! Curse you! Curse you, lack of double strike in this deck! Hey, there we go. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Um, hold on. Yeah, that's an oops. That's an oops. Because I would be at 11 just from Core Spirit Dancer's ability, plus one for each aura, so they actually just died there. Um, maybe they didn't realize that I could block, or I could. they couldn't block my creature? Uh, well, I mean, it works out. Uh, fifth blitz, so that's just Vault Progress. Okay, we're on our way. We'll open the rest of the packs when we get to, uh, when we get to Platinum. We're going from, so to make JoJo references, Bron Bl Bronze doesn't have one. Silver Chariot, Gold Experience, Star Platinum, Crazy Diamond. I don't know about Mythic. King Crimson. <laughs> no, that's not even the right color. Alright. It has a creature. With a cute sound. Take it. Alright, whatever we play here is about to get countered. So... I don't know if we do Srom next. I don't know about that. Like, they have something. I know it. I know they do. But here we go. It's not going to get any better for us if we wait. Alright, counter it unless I pay four. Lofty Denial. Maybe. Maybe. It could be something weird like neg Negate. That's a thing. I've run that in the main board. Essence Capture. Nope. The opposite of that. I mean, Poke. Well. Can't win them all. Uh. uh oh. Oh, but it has a counter on it now. So it can't adapt. That's interesting how that works out. Huh. Play you first. Alright. What you got? Bounce it. I don't know, I'm spitballing here. Ooh, sensor actually could get me. I don't think they're running sensor, but just in case. Just in case. You never know. Alright. You get me. Brazen Barber. I'm going to keep calling out random cards until you actually do one of them. There is Lofty Denial. Okay. At least we can actually do damage. Okay. No Brazen Barber yet. That would be a bit of a problem. A little bit. Alright. Ow, ow. Storm Tamer. Okay. We'll start off with you. Yep. Lookout's Dispersal. Alright, they both have the same... Uh, same gist going on, I guess. Want to trade Storm Tamer for a Vigilant creature? No? Okay. Ow. Alright, here we go. Alright. Not that they're going to be doing a lot of destroying in Mono Blue, but it kind of improves the clock a little bit, at least. Definitely not a clock I want to lose. Alright. Bait. 
bait. Nope, we got there. Uh, come on. You know you want to. You know you want to. There we go. Never mind. Oh wait, how many cards do they have in hand? I actually wasn't paying attention to that. Ah. Uh, should have noticed. I should have noticed. Alright, look, you can tell by the yawning I'm tired, so... Now, just saying yawning makes me want to yawn. Tamazov. Alright, here we go. We'll make it work. <sighs> we'll make it work. Alright. Mulliganing, though. Okay. It could mean that we're in for a treasure hunt. Or, we might actually steal a win. Maybe. We're slow, but... Oh, look at that! Four cards! Oh, boy. It's their lucky day. Alright. Well, right on time. I mean, we still played Strom on turn two. Alright, kill it. Oh, I know what this is then. Okay. This is the Neoform deck. Let's go... Just in case you kill it. You... Ow. Into this. You... Stack them up. Stack them up. Into you. There we go. Just play everything. No block. Fifteen. Ooh. Just looking at all the fun little abilities it has. Nope. We are blocking. I thought they might not block so that they could do it on a turn when Strom is bigger, but with Curious Obsession, I guess that makes sense. Alright, Uro. Makes good sense. Hmm. I'm sorry. Alright, we gotta land. Hoorah! There we go. Lay it out. Hit for eight, draw two cards. Right. That one's a May for whatever reason. Alright, let's see if they have it. Do they have me? Alright, here we go. New four. Alright, let's do this. Not much we can do for a while. Thankfully, two of our creatures have lifelink, and one of them also has first strike. For all the difference in the world that that makes. Right. And then, after they get their dual caster mages, they go and get uh, glass pool mimics, and then they get the 0 3 that gives your other creatures haste. Oh. And the creature from Amonkhet Remastered that has Exert and gives an extra combat. Uh, off the top of my head, I'm not actually sure if we're going to be able to make it. Uh, wish I could tell you. So this is 24 right here. Right, using these last two. That's what, a uh, Combat Celebrant, and Tuck Tuck Rubble for it. Okay. Neat. We actually want to kill, um, we don't want to kill this one necessarily. Uh, hmm. Even though it is more damage, I'm just going to block this with all seed, I believe. Let's see. Or we could spend all three. Well, hmm. Uh, 
Okay. 32. That maybe wasn't the way to go, though, unfortunately. This still leaves them with 21. Do it again. Gain 7, and then take 18. This might not have been the right way to do it. Alright, so what all do you have? You don't have flying. Yet. How much do we want to add on to you? Let's see. Seven. Let's get out another blocker. Draw a card. I could really use all the glitters. That would be nice. This thing has reach anyway. As it turns out. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Well then. There it is. Huh, okay. This isn't lethal, but it's pretty fun. It's pretty funny. We do force them to block with their rubble fort. And then we <laughs> gain 17 life. And that should put this well out of reach. Alright, what are you digging for? For what are you digging? I wouldn't be surprised if there's something. Okay. I didn't know if they might have, like, Brazen Borrower. That would get the job done. <laughs> something like that. We're only one more win away. Hopefully just one. And then we'll actually make it under an hour if I can get the next win. Get the next win in really quickly. See what we get. Another Tempered Veteran. Okay. The game is trying to tell me something, and I'm telling it no. <laughs> Alright. Uh, just not my kind of card. I guess. Ceres! Hmm. Okay, yeah, this looks good. Selfless Savior. Srom. Tell them hello. Looks and two auras. It looks like everything you need. Uh, okay. And then that happens. S speak of the devil, right? We'll play this just to draw a card. Give us an extra card. Hey, there you are. Hmm. All right. Oh, still, we're playing energy. Okay. This looks fun. This looks really fun. And it's vigilant, so we can just do that again. Yay! And if they want to destroy anything... Alright, what is this? Three plus one plus one counter when another creature you control dies. If it had a plus one plus one counter, put one on it. So it's an Ozolith creature. When it dies... Okay, cool. You want to be careful about killing it. X is the number. Alright. Uh... Sure. YOLO. Oh, should've put it on, uh, SROM instead. That's okay, it works out. Boom. Okay. Neat. That was neato. We don't have any auras to use it on, though. Alright, dead in one, leap in one. We made it. We made it. From gold three to platinum four in less than an hour. Alright. Star platinum. <laughs> this stand is, what's the line? This stand is just like star platinum or, uh, it's a stand like star platinum, something like that. Well, we are a stand like star platinum now, so we have some packs to open. Let's go and do that. I think we've earned it, right? I think. Ondu Inversion. Okay. Cool. That seems silly. I have yet another Wrath to play. I'm okay with that. Let's see. Soul Shatter. 
sex a creature or planeswalker with highest CMC among creatures and planeswalkers they control. Okay, it, it gets to avoid the just sacking a token problem. There's a crack, crackle doom, crack doom, crackling doom in uh, Mardu from Khans of Tarkir that has the same bit, except it also does damage and has more colors. Alright, Skyclave Relic again. Okay, number three, I believe. Everything else here looks fine. A Myriad Captain seems cool if I'm going that route. Alright, and lastly, but definitely least, I feel... No, definitely not! So we have... Do we now have a playset of Thieving Skydivers? Uh, I think the game is trying to tell me something. Alright. We'll open... I w it wasn't last. We have this to go. Let's see. Plus one, plus oh for each creature in your party and menace. That's not bad. Combos with first strike, which we certainly have. Crackplate Baleth, hexproof haste for seven mana. It can't be countered, and it gets to have it gets to be a ten ten if you just have ten mana lying around. That's okay. No uh, trample or anything though, but still, that's pretty cool. I I think it's a green creature with haste. You can't go wrong there. So for mastery, let's see. We're almost to the next one, but. Which one do I want to do? On the one hand, this has Malakir Rebirth uh, and Inscription of Ruin. On the other hand, this one has uh, Spike Field Hazard, uh, Shatter Skull Smashing, and Channel. Yeah, let's do red. Confirm that real quick. All right. And we'll, we will complete all of this, hopefully anyway. That's the plan. Oh. <coughs> Sorry about that. Pretty sure I... Oh, we're, yeah, I'm pretty sure I already got that. All right. And Etherworks marvels up, but I don't spend coins on cosmetics. Cosmetics don't help you win games, after all. And I'm free to play, so I'm not putting money in anything else. All right, so since... Since, apparently, uh, Arena is telling me something, let's go and swap what's in here for a bit. Uh, we can take out, as much as I like Tempest Caller, uh, we'll swap out Tempest Caller and... How many lands were... Uh, 22 lands? I can go down one more land. I did just lower the curve, after all. Take out an island, just one, for... Oh, jeez. There we go. Oh, just three. Okay. Two Thieving Skydivers. Uh, they'll let us take control of our opponent's artifacts, and they fly, which combos with having all these lords. Uh, do I have another icon? I don't. That's something else I could invest in. Uh, icon of Ancestry is my ninth lord, basically. We have four Mistbinders and four Mirror Regery, of course, but then Icon uh, seems to make enough sense to me. 21 lands and four collected companies, though, is a little, is a little awkward. But we already have Silvergill Adept and Murphic Branchwalker to help us draw in. And also Benthic Biomancer if we need. Uh, one Kira, one Kapala instead of the two Kiras you often see. Uh, even though Kiras is definitely better, one, Kira is not a Murfolk, so it doesn't benefit from the buff, which is probably why Kapala's ability is worse. Uh, but two, when you put them together, they get really silly. It gets difficult to pop Kira's bubble and, uh, and still be able to do something. It's possible, but it gets it gets tricky to do, because uh, you have to spend four extra mana, two twice, in order to do anything. That's four extra mana. Woo! Okay, so that's that's collected Merfolk now. Uh, we'll play it again at some point before too long. Now that I'm at platinum, I guess I could keep uh, keep doing that, Get, or switch over to Merfolk, or keep on auras, whatever. This is a neat little deck. I, I like what it's doing. Not having Tempest Caller means I can't break through boards, but they have flying. That helps. <laughs> At least I have a Merfolk that has flying now, instead of having to rely on Brazen Borrower and Kira to get the job done. Alright. Take care, Magic Community. I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.